6.51 is the time now. It's the world's biggest gadget show. It's taking place right now under the bright lights of Las Vegas. Yes, the best brains in the technology world are there, and they're joined by our technology correspondent, Rory Catherine jones um, who hopefully can show us what he thinks we might all be wanting, I suppose. Morning, Rory. Good morning, or rather good night from uh, Las Vegas. It's late at night, just off the famous Las Vegas Strip. You'd expect it to be pretty quiet in town at this time of year, just after the New Year festivities. In fact, it's filling up with all of the world's geeks come to hear and show off the latest trends in consumer technology. Uh, what's big this year? Well, wearables are big again. Uh, things like this smart watch, I don't think it's that smart, but lots of other devices which monitor your health and fitness. They're big. Drones, very big again, getting lots cheaper being far more uh, consumer items and lots of car technology not quite driverless car but self-parking cars so a lot more of that this week now the show for real doesn't actually get underway for a few hours but there have been a number of preview events and I've been along to get a bit of a sneak preview it's the city of hype where they'll tell you everything including their new high roller big wheel is the best there's ever been and this week, technology firms have arrived in Las Vegas with much the same message about their new gadgets. At this preview event, before the vast consumer electronics show opens its doors, one trend stood out. Wearable technology has been the next thing for a while, but smart watches that need charging every night, fitness trackers that don't really track you that effectively, and smart glasses that make you look, well, daft, have made it all pretty slow to take off. Perhaps this year, it'll be different. The clever thing about this smartwatch is that the only thing it shows you is your progress towards a daily fitness goal, and its battery lasts for eight months. You're going to want to put your two fingers right on top of that. Then there are all the devices which monitor your health. This one measures your body fat. So 24% body fat, is that good news or bad news? That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm a healthy enough guy. You're going to live. And everything in your home is now going to be connected to the internet and controlled remotely. I've now found an intelligent plant in an intelligent plant pot. Uh, what's smart about it? Uh, Henri Sedou from Parrot, the French company, explain. So this is a robotic uh, plant uh, pot. So it has full of sensors like the drones we do. It sends the moisture, the fertilizer, the temperature, the sunlight, and it has plenty of water on the reservoir. So when you leave your house for vacation, it will take care of the plants for you. Plenty of robots will be on show this week. These tiny ones have an educational mission. So the first thing Ozobots can do is they can follow lines, patterns. Ozobot is changing colors as it sees the different colors. The main appeal is that it is tiny. It can go anywhere and it can teach kids programming and logical reasoning all in a, in a very fun way they don't even realize that they're learning. But nobody can escape from wearable technology. This is an on-collar device for pets. It works on dogs and cats. It tracks their GPS location, it tracks their activity levels, and um, newly introduced this week, this product tracks the ambient temperature so you can tell if your pet is in too hot or too cold of conditions. From the location of the family pet to the state of the pot plants, we're all going to have a lot more information at our fingertips from now on. Now, two of the giants of the technology world have already had uh, their opening press conferences here. Uh, Sony, now it was notable for its chief executive, Kazuo Hirai, uh, talking for the first time about that very serious hacking attack before Christmas. He described it as a vicious, malicious attack, uh, but he praised his staff. He said they really responded well by getting that film, that controversial film, the interview, out uh, to the world. And of course, it's been a surprise hit online uh, uh, and has made quite a lot of money back for Sony. He was keener, though, to talk about their ultra slim TVs. Uh, and that's uh, an area that Samsung, its bitter rival, its Korean rival, was also talking about. They've launched another kind of TV. I think we're all going to get very confused by 4K, OLED, LED. Well, the, the latest name is SHUD, I think. So ever more uh, cleverer and smarter televisions on show made me shudder. <laughs> See you later, Rory. <laughs>